Today I'm going to show you how to change the RAM on your computer. You will need a screwdriver, a RAM, that is, and a pair of rubber gloves. First, position your computer so that you can get to the back of it. Now you will notice that if you've been using a computer for a while there will be a lot of dust on it. So it's a good idea to give it a quick clean before you start. Take a screwdriver and remove the front right cover. Most computers will be on the right, some will be on the left. Remove the cover. You can now see the inside of the computer. I'll try and bring it a little bit closer with the camera for you to see. Now the inside of your computer will of course be dusty, just like the outside. So, once again, give it a quick clean. Now notice I'm using a plastic end not a metal end. Be very careful not to damage anything. Just to make your computer hot because it's more difficult for the heat to dissipate when there's a lot of dust on the components. So it's a good idea to clean your computer every few, once every few months. It's going to have to be cleaned inside for about a year. Let's have a look inside the computer. Now these here are the RAM boards. You see them? Now I've already changed one, which is why one is much bigger than the other one. So one has been added. It was a 4 gigabyte RAM and it's gone to an 8 gigabyte RAM. And here again I'm going to change a 4 into an 8. Now then. Best to put some gloves on when you work on a computer for two reasons. The first is the risk of static causing damage, and the second is that the uh, perspiration or sweat from your hands can cause damage to components. More importantly, it can affect the connections, but. It's rare that it causes, actually causes damage. In reality, I've done this without gloves in the past. Now then, you'll notice here there are these little white button clips. So what we need to do is very gently pull them up and down. Like that. Okay, so just push them aside and up. Okay. And that will make your RAM accessible. Now very gently pull the RAM out. Okay, be careful not to damage anything. Let's say 4 gigabyte RAM. Then take your 8 gigabyte RAM, the new one. This is the new one, which I bought. I bought it from a company called Scan in the United Kingdom. Scan is very good for 
um, made order parts. Yeah. So in the same way as you took it out, you must put it back. Okay. Put the new one in. Sometimes it can be a bit difficult to get it into the slots, but I'm getting old now, my eyesight is not that good. <laughs> Bottom seems to be going in very easily, but the top one not so, so easily. Careful not to force it, of course, because it could cause damage. Okay. Push it in evenly if you can. There you are, the top one's clipped on. Need the bottom one to clip on nicely as well. Mm -hmm. Aha, my glove is getting caught in it, so be careful of that. Okay, there we have the Run, which is now fitted and the only thing left to do is to close the computer up and that's all there is to it your computer now will be working on some on a more powerful RAM I've changed the 4 gigabyte to an 8 gigabyte that gives a total of uh, just under 16 gigabytes for this computer it started off with 8 so I increased I changed one RAM and now I've changed the second RAM and that's as much RAM as I can put into this motherboard. Thank you very much for watching and uh, have a nice day. Bye bye.